Ephesians 2.10 says that we are God's workmanship, his masterpiece. Now, I don't know about you, but when I get up in the morning and I look in the mirror, I don't really see a masterpiece. I mean, maybe a Picasso. But I want to be a masterpiece. I want to be everything that God created me to be. So I go to him in prayer, and I say, Dear Heavenly Father, do whatever it takes to mold me into the image of your son. Make me your masterpiece. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hi. Whoa. Who are you? I'm God. (laughs) No, 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 you're not God. Yeah, I am. You said the prayer, and here I am. That's how it works. (laughs) Okay, well, if you're God, then make it snow in here. I really don't think I want to make it snow in here. It would get kind of yucky. Yep. See? You're not God. What makes you say that? God wouldn't use the word yucky. Uh, yes, I do. It's a Greek word. Oh. Well, if you are God, then what does Lamentations 15.9 say? Lamentations only has five chapters. It's a very short book. Oh. Well, why so short? I was tired of lamenting. Well, all right, if you're God, then who's going to win the World Series this year? You know, I'm really not so much into playing games. Now, why are you so much into playing games? Oh, you are God. What gave it away? You answered my question with a question. I did? (laughs) I did, didn't I? I do that sometimes, don't I? (laughs) There, I did it again. (laughs) Okay, let's go. Okay. Whoa, hold on. What are you doing? I'm going to make you into my original masterpiece. Oh, okay. Oh, what are these about? Well, these are the tools I'm going to use to make you into my original masterpiece. It's a process. Oh, okay. Well, hang on. Yeah? I thought you were a carpenter. No, that was my son. Now, let's step up here and go. Oh, hang on. Yeah? God, how do you know what to chisel and what to leave? Well, I take out all of the things from your life that don't belong there. Kind of like dead weight. Ooh, speaking of dead weight, do you think you could chisel like right in this area right here? This showed up when I was in my 20s and it kind of grew around and became back fat. I don't even know why you would invent that in the first place, but but no matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of it. I've tried running, I've tried weightlifting. My wife even talked me into trying Pilates. That was awkward. But no matter what I do, I can't seem to get rid of it. So if you could just chisel right in this area here, and then maybe you could chisel like a line down here, and then like maybe eight lines going this way, that would be awesome. You're funny. You may be that way. Yeah, I also made the platypus. The platypus, I don't know. All I'm saying is that when it comes to this process, most of my children would really rather just talk about it than let me work on them. So what's it going to be? You want to talk or should I chisel? Talk, chisel, talk, chisel. No, no, no. I choose to chisel. Okay. Now, through my Holy Spirit, I'm going to bring up some things that are not from me. Things in your life like your anger, I invented the emotion, but you use it in the wrong way. You you compare yourself to others instead of to me. You you tell little white lies because you want to people please. Ah. Oh, and you're lazy. But you pretend to be really busy all of the time. And, uh, oh, you have a problem with lust. Whoa. Hold on a second. I don't have a problem with lust. You don't have a problem with lust. Nope, I could do it anytime I want. Okay. Oh, okay, all right, hold on a second. All right, look, I gotta admit, I feel like you've been doing some really great work here, and you know, I think I'm starting to look pretty good. Well, okay, look in the mirror, who do you see? I see me. Well, then I need to keep chiseling away because Eventually, what you and other people need to see is uh, my son. Well, don't misunderstand me here. It's just that when I begin to look more like Jesus, 
the people in my life start to get really uncomfortable around me. I mean, even my church friends are all like, ooh, you think you're holier than thou, you know? I mean, I don't think I'm supposed to make people feel uncomfortable. So what you're saying is you'd rather play God in parts of your life than let me be God over your whole life. No, I, I didn't say that. That's what you meant. Yes, it is. God, it's so hard to talk to you. You know everything I'm thinking. Look, all I'm saying is I think you've been doing some great work, and maybe we could just take a little break, a little time out. I will stay right here. See, that's just it. You never really stay right here. You're always either moving towards me or away from me. You know, what you're doing right now is very common. It's called controlling. So do you want to control parts of your life or let me chisel? Control, chisel, control, chisel? No, chisel. But can we chisel where I want to chisel? That's called control. Okay, all right. Okay, this part right here, this secret sin that you keep running to when you're angry or tired or hurting or lonely, you think you're fooling everybody, but really it's just turning you into a whitewashed tomb. Are you ready for me to chisel this out of your life? See, this is, this is a process. It's not a sprint. It's, it's a marathon. It's really your whole life. You, uh, you care so much about what other people think of you. But when you start to focus on how much I love you, that I forgive you, that I want to have a relationship with you, well, then what other people think of you really doesn't matter anymore. It's just a part of your life that needs to be chiseled off. Ah, uh, but it, it hurts. Well, this hurts me more than it hurts you. <laughs> right. Okay, oh, look, I'm sorry. I just, I don't think you understand this pain. Pardon me? You're asking me to sacrifice a lot, God. Oh, don't talk to me about sacrifice. I know about sacrifice. I sent my son to die on the cross for sin, for pain. But I did it for another reason, to give you freedom. Do you know what insanity is? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, there are things in your life that you have been doing for years. These empty wells that have nothing to offer, and you keep going to them. It's insane. Let me chisel them out of your life. Let me produce character where you are so focused on your image. I was just thinking. Your maybe. thoughts are not my thoughts. But if we could just go another way. Your ways are not my ways. Oh, I can't. You can't what? Be good. I can't be good. That's your excuse. You it's, can't be good. It's not an excuse. I can't. Oh, my child. In the beginning, I said it was good. I've made you good. Yeah, but... What? Nothing. What is it? wouldn't understand. I, God of all the universe, wouldn't understand something one of my children has to say. Try me. Just the... I gotta let you down so much. Oh no, my child. You never held me up. I hold you up with my victorious, righteous right hand. Never forget that in this relationship, I hold you up. And just know that even though you failed, I have recreated you in the image of my son if you will just let him in to do the work of changing you. Okay. Just the way. But just be prepared for what you're going to find in there. Because I know who's inside. I get up every morning, and I look him in the mirror, and I hate what I see. And I know that deep down is just this little kid. He gets up every morning and dresses like an adult. And I go out into the world, and I try to be who I'm supposed to be, but I can't. 
I can't be who everyone expects me to be. I can't be who I want to be, let alone who you've created me to be. So deep down, it's just this weird, stupid little kid. But you chisel away. Just be prepared. You have listened to so many voices for too long that were not of me. You think you're junk, don't you? At night, when you lay your head down after you've done the dance to get the hug, you think you're junk. Well, listen to me. I don't take time to make junk. What can I do to show you that my love stretches as far as, as the east is from the west? What can I do to show you that my love for you has no end? I know. Reach into your back pocket. What? Reach into your back pocket. Why? You're arguing with me? Reach into your back pocket. God. Yes? I was just saying, God, I'll do that right now. You were just saying my name in vain. Look, it's, it's just a name. It's just a saying. It is the name above all names. It is more than a name, more than a saying. I want to teach you something about my name. Reach into your back pocket. God, you, you know what that is. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a page from my journal. I wrote this when I was in college. How, how did you get this? Hello. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Go ahead, read it. I love Angie Holland. Other side. Oh, right. Dear God, did I hear you write today? Did I hear you say that you love me? Even though you and I both know that I've messed up so many times. Did I hear you say you want to use me? I feel so useless. If you'll take me, if you'll use me, God, I give you all that I am. Take me. I love you, God. I love you too. And I love you too much just to leave you where you're at. So this salvation that you hold, don't let it just be some sentimental gush or some head knowledge. I want it to work in every detail of your life. And when trouble comes or chaos happens, don't, don't view it as prison. Look at it as a father disciplining his child. A father disciplines the one he loves. I know. It's just going to be really tough. It is going to be tough. But see, you've bought into the lie that everything was going to be easy once you turned your life over to me. There will be trouble in this world, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I want you to do something for me. I want you to look out there, and I want you to say, I am God's original masterpiece. I am God's original masterpiece. No, no, no. Not, not the way that you see yourself or the way you fear others see you, but maybe for the first time in your life, the way that I see you, the way that I've created you, the way that I've recreated you in the image of my son. I'm God's original masterpiece. Yes, you are. And so are you. God doesn't make junk. You are an original masterpiece.